Good afternoon everybody, welcome back to the channel. This week I want to do a quick review of our spring crops and how they're going. Obviously it's really dry this year and I just want to review how they're getting on with the drought. In addition, we're noticing some real difference in the direct drilling between those crops that were sprayed off early and have died had the cover crops had time to die off before spring drilling and those ones which we planted into the green could you explain what seed rate we're going at 230 on the lennox today 230 lennox and what is lennox uh, spring wheat for warmers all right and uh this looks this doesn't really look like a lot of soil out here what is this it's a mustard cover crop it's yeah, grazed by sheep and it's died off by nicely. It's grazed by sheep, yeah. The, and if, you, an hour ahead of if you have a look at the other side of the hedge, you can see it's a bit more greener. And that is, um, that was not grazed by sheep. So I wanted to show you this. This is the um, vetch. And uh, it's really grown quite well. This was a vetch uh, mustard mix and uh, really pleased here. It wasn't grazed by sheep, unlike the fields you saw earlier this morning. It's made quite a difference, carried it right through to the spring. I just wanted to point out this field behind me. This is the field of uh, Lennox spring wheat that we put the very thick cover of vetch. And as you can see behind me, I stopped here because this is black grass. So we call this the hospital block. It's near Stoke Manival Hospital. And I'll just turn this around and show you. So as you can see, we've clearly got the lines of established Lennox coming up, quite pleased with this. Now, we have had in the past problems with glyphosate kill, out the way, uh, with glyphosate kill on black grass in the spring. So now we make sure we use a Roundup Flex, a branded product, to really get hold of it. You can get real problems with establishing wheat through black grass but here it seems to have done really well so fingers crossed this is the field next door with that that was grazed by sheep and had less uh, residue on the top and i just wanted to show you this so i think this might even be the very plant that i videoed pr at drilling but here you can see this is uh, the vetch uh, die, dying back the issue I'm having is areas like this to put it into perspective uh, here's the row going up here there's probably a one foot gap between this plant and the next um, the fertilizer is interesting I think I'll look it up but I would suspect this fertilizer has been here for two weeks sitting here doing nothing so going back there is, I would say, there's a small plant here, small plant there, small plant there. So I would say that these plants, they have grown. It's just situation is that they haven't thrived. Look at the size of the plants. Look at that next door. So this, why is this guy so poor? The slot has definitely opened up. Is that something to do with it? So we've got a poor area here. And what we're seeing in these poor areas, I shouldn't have to go far to find an example. But here, this is our friend black grass. It thrives where light gets to the ground. So we're looking at a poorly plant here and a massive black grass. This is gonna, this one plant, what's he got? Let's see, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen heads well that's going to ruin any um improvement of that i achieved by growing a spring crop and i think that this field established quite well so I'm a bit disappointed by this inconsistency. And we compare this field with the one next door. 
So hopefully the wind isn't too bad. I'm trying the best I can. Uh, this field here, if I try and turn around and then you might see the housing behind me. This was a field that I actually filmed James planting with the sky the first day we changed to sky drilling. So um, you can see how thick it is. Um, it's good and thick. You can't see the rows now. It's all covered over. It's one of the reasons we use the sky is that the row spacing at 12 centimeters is relatively tight and therefore uh, not a lot of um, uh, light gets through to the soil so it's good for black grass suppression you know we're getting some good strong plants here and let's just pull one up and see how many tillers we're getting on these stronger plants but here we go um, one, two, three, four, five, five tillers on this plant. And uh, considering the drought and spring conditions, I'm very pleased with this. But of course, this is a field, this was one of the fields that was grazed by sheep, where there was a lot of soil shown in the spring when the drill was in here, as opposed to the field next door, which had quite a heavy uh, cover via the cover crop so I've got a difference where what I'm struggling with I don't really know what lesson I can draw from it yet so it's something that I like to review and improve on and I just wanted to show you some of the effects in the standing crop so why am I so concerned about this a friend of mine and my agronomist have done a calculation from NIAB TAG trial data that shows there's about a half a tonne per hectare difference, um, as in you grow half a tonne a hectare more if you have a good distance, sort of four to six weeks between spraying off your crop and planting the new crop. So is that due to a glyphosate effect is that because you get better seed soil contact? I just don't honestly know. And what I'd really like to do is improve my technique and understand why I'm getting these differences between brown soil establishment methods and planting into the green. 